Once upon a time, long ago, many stories were told about how language came to be. Among the first theories is that language was a divine gift. Yay, Grandpa! This is so interesting. Please tell us more about this. Like, what do you mean by divine, and how does that relate to language and how it originated? Yes, Grandpa! Please tell us more. What is a divine source? Well, well, there are so many stories to start with. In the biblical tradition, God created Adam and gave him the power to name all living creatures. This act implied that language was a gift from the heavens, a bridge between humanity and the divine. Wow, Grandpa, isn't that similar in a sense to what we have in Islam? Like in the verse, and he taught Adam the names of all things? Yes, my dear Salma. In Islam, while we don't have a direct reference to a particular language, we are told that Allah Almighty made it possible for Adam to know the names of all things on earth. In a sense, this knowledge was a divine gift, a testament to human intellect and understanding. However, in other cultures, the story of language is not the same. Ah, oh, I see, but, but what do you mean by not the same, Grandpa? Please tell us more. I never thought that the story may not be the same for others. All right, dear Forrest, let me tell you more. In Hindu tradition, we find a different tale. Sarasvati, the wife of Brahma, revered as the goddess of knowledge, arts, music, and language and culture, is believed to have gifted humanity with the power of speech and wisdom. It is said that she introduced language as a means for people to express thoughts, share knowledge, and attain enlightenment, making communication a sacred bridge between the mortal and the divine. The question of what the original language was was intriguing, so there were attempts to rediscover it, though, my dears, these attempts were harsh and inhumane. Over 2,500 years ago, the Egyptian pharaoh Samaticus tried to find out. He took two newborn babies and raised them in complete silence. Only goats and a mute shepherd surrounded them. After two years, the children uttered the word bakos, which means bread in Phrygian. The pharaoh thought he had uncovered the first language, although in reality, the children were simply just mimicking the sounds of the goats. Wow, Grandpa. We never thought that such experiments took place. What other stories about origin of language would you want to share with us? Oh, dear. Stories. I no longer can say a word. I am afraid you have to wait for another episode. I am tired and I just want to head to bed. Yes, that's what I want to do.